All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the final video, the final segment of this building a model series. So we've got our results now after running the analysis and we want to print this out on some paper. We want to present this to your boss or you want to hand in, in for your project or whatever. So what you want to do, go to file, go to print, standard, and then this comes up, print reports. We got a whole bunch of crap here that we don't really know what it means. Basically, all you want to go do is your results, and because we're dealing with a spring system, all we're interested in is your reactions and your nodal displacements because member forces, not really important right now, shell forces, stresses, I mean, we don't really have any areas to deal with, so stresses don't apply in this case. So let's just stay focused on our nodal displacements and our support reactions, okay? And we want to go to general and have print options, have all of these selected these are going to show you what red he the the headers the column headers the print your grids it's going to make it look a little bit better and it's going to show the different units on your overall spreadsheet so make sure that you have your print options all of these highlighted and it's going to look much much sharper project title you can change this to whatever you want um yeah and that's basically it that's as easy as it goes and for now um we won't really modify anything else keep it simple click apply and print preview. It is a very basic looking sheet right now because we don't really have that much information, but it shows all of the forces and the translations that we're interested in. So now what would that look like if we didn't have these selected? Let's just see what it looks like. That looks like crap. I mean, you don't want to hand this in. It's not, it doesn't show you what anything means, what anything is, it doesn't separate your, your grids. So just for keeping things neat we want to have all of these selected it makes it look much much better all right so there you go that is basically it for the building a model spring system and that's it for the second tutorial and